Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you are a subscriber, if you are not a subscriber, that's fine too. Welcome to the channel. I want to do something a little different. I do like to have fun on this channel. I'm not a professional at anything, but I do like things with wheels. I like cars and now I have my first motorcycle. And one thing that I wanted to do here is I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube with YouTubers and very experienced riders telling me what it's going to be like the first time I ride in traffic. What I haven't seen is a rider who has never been in traffic riding in traffic for the first time. So that's what we're going to do today. I have not been in traffic. I am a very new rider. I have probably less than an hour of seat time total. My past experience with being on two wheels is limited to dirt bikes and while I think being on a dirt bike is invaluable if you decide to switch over to a street bike it is still a very different world because it is a very different world we're going to explore that world together and we're going to see how it goes now again I've been riding around a little bit but my experience right now is mainly limited to rural two-lane highways such as this one thing I have not done yet is I have not been in heavy traffic I feel comfortable enough to try this right now even though I am a little a little nervous maybe a little apprehensive but I'm confident enough that I can do it safely that I can do it without stalling it in traffic um, operating a clutch is obviously very similar to a dirt bike now it's been 10 years since I've owned a dirt bike so I'm very very fresh as far as being on two wheels this is very new to me it's very exciting to me it's something I've wanted to do for a while and to be honest when I was in my 20s and maybe even into my 30s I didn't really trust myself to behave and to do it safely and motorcycling is a thing that you should always do safely if you're doing anything unsafe it can end your life very quickly so you have to be you have to be very very disciplined when you're in traffic you have to be careful you have to look out for everyone not just yourself this is very different than being in a car your spatial awareness has to be much more sharp I mean you can get hurt in a hurry on one of these if you're not careful but I think if you are careful and you're very alert and very aware it's a lot of fun and it's something that can be very rewarding and very relaxing hopefully I'm coming through clear um, I do have a microphone set up here on the GoPro it's new so this is the first time I've ever used it um, I can probably use this video maybe as a guinea pig and see if there's any tweaks that need to be done but right here on the highway is probably about as bad as it's gonna get as uh, you know as far as audio goes um, but here we are just cruising along you know 60 mile an hour and uh, I feel just fine again I've done this uh, I had to go get it inspected in the town that's northwest of us Savannah Missouri but it's a rural town right there on the outskirts there's a little area that I got it inspected now we're gonna slow down to 50 here we will obey traffic laws there's no reason not to right now I'm a novice anyway um, but yeah it's my riding has basically been limited to that and I have not yet dealt with heavy traffic so stoplights and having cars on all sides of me you know front back left and right that's new um, that's that's something that I have not done yet so let's give it a shot huh I'm a little nervous but I'm also confident 
again this is just kind of muscle memory and to be honest with you once i jumped on the bike for the first time it all you know it <laughs> kind of like riding a bike huh <laughs> it all came back to me pretty quickly you know that muscle memory of operating the clutch and shifting gears now guys i am a beginner very much a beginner so please don't make fun of me for not rev matching properly on downshifts and whatnot I, i'm still learning and i'm still obviously uh getting used to the intricacies of a road bike rather than a dirt bike because they are very different even though the main functions you know clutch brakes throttle all that it's the same the way they behave is obviously very different for one thing the gearing is so much lower on a dirt bike uh, you don't really have to worry about stalling it quite as much okay so here we are coming up to the first red light the light is now green if it can stay that way that would be just fine I will not be angry about that there we go all right through the first intersection guys I'm not a professional again I'm not an instructor I've not taken any MSF courses everything that I've learned basically about what I'm getting ready to do is not from experience it's literally just from studying and researching and watching youtubers and this that and the other um, but you got to start somewhere right signal to the right here um, you know some of the youtubers um, you know if you guys are watching this video you guys are probably familiar with some of the the big dogs if you will uh, yammy noob um, fort nine dan dan the fireman you know just to name a few those guys are uh, you know fort nine probably has the best production values of any youtuber i've ever seen for any category ever so if you're watching this video and you haven't checked out Fort Nine, F O R T N I N E. Go give them a shot. Excellent, excellent videos. Um, Yammy Noob does a lot of beginner stuff, which is why I really enjoyed watching his videos. But again, it's you know him and his buddy who are extremely experienced motorcyclists sharing their knowledge, which is great. But it still doesn't quite prepare you for actually being in traffic. <laughs> I'm going to signal left here. Oh, light's turning yellow, so let's just go ahead and give it a, give it a slow here. Turn off my signal. That's going to be something that's very difficult to get into the habit of, is uh, canceling the turn signals. Uh, your car does it automatically, right? So that's something that a new rider is going to have a lot of trouble getting used to okay there's a car behind me i can see in my rear view always check your rear view both sides be aware of everything going on around you and uh apologize if i go quiet in some of these situations it's very new to me and i'm trying to kind of take it all in and think about what i'm doing so again i do apologize if i go quiet That intersection is down now let's turn left here and we're gonna stay in this lane guys another thing that's really important I think personally um, ride somewhere where you're familiar don't ride somewhere where you're gonna be you're gonna be surprised by you know any intersections that are coming up which lane you need to be in if you're turning left if you're turning right where you need to be that's not a good time to learn your surroundings if you're just learning how to do this then it's a, a really good idea in my opinion to be somewhere that you're very familiar with that way you're not thinking about anything except for safely operating your motorcycle all right this is a uh, this is kind of the north end of one of the busier roads in St. Joseph, Missouri. So this is the road that I chose and it will get progressively busier as we go south and we are getting ready to turn south. So 
bear with me and that's what we'll do. Um, just kind of take it in the surroundings. I've still got this Lincoln behind me. Um, they're very aware of me. I'm going to watch these pedestrians here. Make sure they get across safely and I don't take off and run into them. Traffic's still going like crazy. Let me scoot up a little bit and figure out if maybe it's me that's not triggering this light. This light should be turning by now. But this is, uh, here we go. Alright, I'm going to take this one really wide. Make sure that everybody's got enough space. And I'm just going to kind of stay to the right here. It's so obviously on a motorcycle there are three. <laughs> i got to cancel that damn turn signal, guys. Uh, I'm going to forget that. Um, there are three riding positions, obviously. You can be in the right track. You can be in the left track. Or you can be in the center. Okay. And uh, the reason why right now I'm choosing to stay in the right track is because that kind of gives me a little bit of an escape route. There's a pretty good shoulder um, on the right side here. If something goes wrong, I can take that escape route and get away from everybody safely. goodness guys well this is a this is exactly why I came <laughs> this is why I came all the stoplights I'm gonna flash I'm gonna flash with my rear brake that's a good practice to get into and again something that I'm new at but I'm trying to you know build up the habit of is when somebody's behind me and I'm pulling up to an intersection flash the brake because it's a lot easier to spot a flashing light than it is to spot a solid light now it's a little bit less important I would imagine in traffic like this where there are constant stop lights but if you're on a road where maybe somebody is stopped in the middle of the road to turn left or you know kind of an unexpected stopping situation that's when you would really want to make sure to alert everybody behind you that you're getting ready to stop Oh, okay, well, I'm still nervous, um, but I'm, I, I feel better than I thought I would. I actually feel pretty good. So let's just keep it going. Another good thing about being on the right side here, the right lane, if at any point I feel uncomfortable with the traffic, I feel like I'm not, I'm not as safe as I should be. I can duck off to the right at a number of different intersections here. So that's another reason why I'm kind of trying to stay to the right. All right, that's first gear. So I'm first gear, I'm always putting my left foot down. Again, just something that I've learned um, you're going to be in first gear with your hand on the clutch. That way, if you need to take off suddenly and move, you can. My right foot is on the brake, holding the brake. If I let off, it'll start to roll. But that kind of frees up my right hand. Instead of operating the front brake, I can basically just focus on using it for the throttle. That way I'm not, you know, trying to hold the front brake and you know grab the throttle at the same time with a twisting motion it just makes it a lot easier for me if I'm just holding that rear brake so that's what I'm doing left foot down and yes folks I am wearing jeans and Doc Martens I understand the risk I get it um, it's one of those things where if you're going to do that you know do so at your own risk and understand that you know, motorcycle pants are better than jeans. Motorcycle boots are better than, you know, Doc Martens or any other work boots. Here we go. I 
shifting isn't quite as crisp as I'd like it to be, but that's another thing that'll come with experience. Still, still very new, and since I've been riding on blacktop a lot, I haven't needed to shift a whole lot, right? <laughs> you get up to highway speed, and that's just where you're at for a little bit. Um, okay, coming into a little bit more traffic here. There's going to be two sets of stoplights in quick succession. So we're going to go through the green here. We might be able to make the green here as well. I'm going to keep some distance on this eclipse. I'm not sure what they're doing. Try to keep myself a really good cushion here. Really good space cushion. Because I'm not at the point where I can react quickly and safely. Um, you know, versus somebody who's been doing this for a long time. You know, somebody who's very experienced on a motorcycle, it's second nature for them to to swerve around something. But for me, you know, I'm still in the mode where I might panic and try to try to stab the brakes at the same time as I swerve, which is a huge no-no. But it's just instinctual, right? You want to dodge the you want to dodge the uh, the threat, but at the same time, you want to slow down. So it's just it's instincts and that's not a good instinct you want to you want to break without swerving if you're swerving that's fine but don't break okay getting into a little bit thicker traffic here and we'll probably go about as far as Frederick Avenue which is kind of a it's a pretty busy thoroughfare uh, once again, we're in St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap my brake here because we've got cars slowing down, so I'm tapping my rear brake. Once again, just to uh, let everybody behind me know, hey, I'm going to be slowing down. And now we're hitting all kinds of green lights, folks. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll take it. I've, I've had a couple. I've had a couple reds. Yeah, that's enough for now. But yeah, I feel pretty good. I really do. Um, I'm still... I, I, I keep wanting to say I'm still a little nervous. I'm not nervous. It's more just anxious or aware. I'm very aware. I'm constantly checking my mirrors. Constantly looking. I mean, up ahead, I've got this car sitting here. I've got parking lots. I've got intersections. I've got stoplights. I've got traffic that's in the left lane. It's a... Riding a motorcycle is a sensory overload, and I think that's why it's so much fun, right? Like, you get the, the, the sensation of speed is there immediately because you've got the air trying to push you off the bike. You've got the sound of the engine. The engines rev much, much higher than car engines. Uh, so you just have this insane sense of speed. And you know what? This light's green. We're going to go ahead and go through. This is Frederick Avenue. But we're going to go ahead and roll through it because it's green. And that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm 42 years old. It's probably the first time I have ever seen that light green. It's always red. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm dead honest, folks. This is... This was kind of scary to me. This is what I was thinking would be a, a really, really nervous moment. I, I was thinking that I would be very shaky. I would be very, uh, you know, I'd lack the confidence and I'd be very ready to just end it. But I'm actually having a good time. I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm confident. Slow down here. There's a decent rev match. All right, we're in first gear. Let's see if we can just coast without putting our foot down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna buzz through this one too. We're, we're catching all kinds of green lights, guys. So let's let's just take it all in. Slow down here. Give myself a little bit more cushion. Tap my rear brake a couple of times and let the guy behind me know the traffic's moving slow. And there's nothing I can do about it. All right, now for a lane change. You guys ready? Let's do it. Left signal. Double check the blind spot. Cancel the signal. We got it. 
we got it. We're rolling now, guys. This is a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. Anybody who, you know, is thinking about doing this, I encourage you, give it a try. It's, it is very, very relaxing and very therapeutic, which is strange because it shouldn't be. This should not be relaxing because, my goodness, there's another green. This shouldn't be relaxing because your, your mind is going a million different directions. You're constantly thinking about what's going on, but at the same time, I'm going to downshift here. At the same time, you're kind of at peace. It's very, very strange, very hard to describe. You're at peace. You are, you know, one with this machine. Um, that's one of the things that, you know, I really enjoy about it. I enjoy the mechanical aspect of it. Uh, he had plenty of time. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, now, let's go ahead and let's do a left turn here. Double check our blind spot. Downshift, signals on. Okay, left foot down, right foot on the rear brake. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Ooh, almost stalled it there, guys. That would be the first time. <laughs> Not a good place to do it either. Not a good place to do it. Uh, I pulled it, pulled the clutch out just a little bit too quick, and I felt the engine start to bog, so I pulled the clutch back in. Um, not a good place to stall it with traffic behind me and all around me, so I should probably pay a little bit more attention and stop talking so much. But uh, I wanted to share this experience with you guys, and and uh, we're gonna go ahead and double check that we're safe to go around, and we are, so we're gonna go right around. There we go. Um, yeah, something that, uh, something again that, you know, you do it one time. You do it one time. You can, you, you went out in traffic for the first time on a motorcycle once. You'll never get to do that again. Okay, first gear. First gear. Um, there we go. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, you're never going to go out in traffic for the first time ever again, you know. So I wanted to share this with you guys and um, just something kind of, I was thinking, not necessarily going in a different direction with the channel, because I'm still going to cover Mercedes stuff and all that. So you guys that are subscribed, you know, don't worry about that. We're still going to cover the Mercedes content and whatnot. But this is kind of something, this is a milestone for me in my life. And, uh, you know, if you want to call it a midlife crisis, yeah, whatever. I'm 42 years old. But this is kind of one of those things where I thought I've wanted to do this for a long time. I didn't trust myself when I was younger. And now that I'm a little bit older, uh, I'm getting to the point where I better, I better make up my mind now. And I better do this and swing a leg over a bike while I still can. Because I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to be 70 years old, right? Um... And then I'm not, I'm never going to be able to do this. So it's something that I really wanted to do. Um, something I wanted to experience. I didn't know if I'd like it. I thought I probably would. Again, I've had dirt bikes in the past. But being on the road and sharing the road with traffic is very, very different. My goodness, guys, my signal has been on this entire time. And I would say those of you who could see that, I don't know... I don't know if the GoPro is aimed low enough to where you could see it, but you were probably laughing at me the whole time. That is something that I know I'm going to have to get into the habit of, is canceling that doggone turn signal. So we'll work on that, all right? <laughs> this is my first time in traffic. Bear with me. But uh, no, this it's it's something that I looked forward to, something that I wanted to, uh, that I wanted to try and, uh, you know, see how I liked it. And uh so far guys it is an absolute blast it is a it is a hoot i really enjoy it so far this is my first taste of real traffic um so i i thought that that might shake me up and i might be uneasy going out into traffic but i i wasn't i really wasn't it was uh it was definitely the you know a, a nervous moment if you will i keep using the word nervous and i don't think that's right anxious um just your 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 awareness your senses everything is just going nuts and uh so you're just trying to take everything in and then of course i'm, I'm sitting here trying to share my experience and what my thought process okay we're clear we're clear 
cancel turn signal. Yeah. Cancel turn signal. Um, but yeah, just trying to kind of share my thoughts. Everything that's going through my mind. Um, you know, stopping at stoplights kind of helps to, you know, give me a second to talk and collect myself, but at the same time, I'm still trying to look around at intersections and pedestrians and what cars might be doing and cars are behind me and making sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing because guys on a motorcycle there's a video by Fortnite about riding like you're invisible and if you're new to this like I am you've probably heard many people talk about riding like you're invisible and there's a reason why people keep talking about riding like you're invisible it's because you usually are it's very difficult for cars to pick up motorcycles and I'm not going to go into depth as to why the science behind it Fortnite's video on that is absolutely stunning he did an excellent job with it as he does with all of his videos but that kind of gives you an idea of why as a motorcyclist you have a lot more responsibility on the road than you do when you're in a car because when you're in a car figuratively you can be asleep at the wheel and everything's just fine figuratively obviously you don't need to be driving around asleep at the wheel but you know when you're on a motorcycle you can't have any mental downtime period no mental downtime you are constantly thinking about everything and that's why it's strange that I call this relaxing but it is it's very relaxing but it's also it's also sensory overload it's very very hard to describe but uh, we're going to kind of take the back way here. I'm going to keep talking. We'll see kind of... I'll take a peek at this video when I get home and see if it's too long. And maybe I want to trim some of it off. So um, if I do, here's probably where I'll say goodbye to you. But uh, we'll just take a look and see. I don't know how long it's been going. So we'll uh, we'll take a peek at that when I get home. But we're going, uh, we're going kind of a back way here. This is a... Uh, this is a fun little highway I've actually been on with the motorcycle. This is going to be Highway W. Right now we're on 6, the number 6. And we're going to switch over to Highway W. And I have been on it a couple of times. Just a nice kind of a rural, quiet, roller coaster like ride uh, without a lot of straights. It's mainly, you know, windy up and down. A few straights here and there, but they're usually uh, elevation changes and whatnot. So that's where we're headed right now, right here at the top of this hill. That's where we're going to be. And uh, it's a little bit slower paced. I think it's 55 the whole way. Yep, yeah, there's a sign. You can see it. W. Check my mirrors. There is nobody behind me. I am still going to signal for traffic that might be in front of me, but there is nobody behind me, so I'm going to take my time slowing down. I'm not even going to use my brakes. I'm just going to engine brake here. Take it easy. I got plenty of time, so I'm going to go ahead and take the turn. Cancel signal. There we go. guys it's a lot of fun very much fun but yeah it's a wonderful highway here um, yeah this is kind of what my riding's been limited to guys right here and this is you want to talk about relaxing this is when there's nobody behind you <laughs> and you're here on a rural highway like this this is just a wonderful wonderful relaxing afternoon experience the weather is absolutely beautiful i think it's about 68 degrees outside sunny we had some rain earlier but that tapered off fairly early in the morning oh gravel 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 oh 
Okay, that's probably a good time to talk about that. You know, with with bicycles, motorcycles, anything that's on two wheels, gravel is basically like ball bearings. <laughs> so going around a corner at 55 miles per hour um, and, and running into gravel, that can be absolutely fatal. And I don't mean necessarily, I don't think I would have died. I just mean you're, you're probably going to crash if, if you hit enough gravel um, while you're going around a corner because you're trying to change directions, right? If you're going straight, you're not slowing down, you're not speeding up, you're not turning left or right, you're just going straight and everything's fine, then you're good. It's the moment where you're trying to change directions. You're trying because the bike just wants to go straight, right? So every time that you turn, you're putting lateral force on your tires. You know, every time you accelerate or decelerate, you're putting longitudinal force on your tires. And uh, that's when things, you know, slippery surfaces can really bite you. So in that situation, I didn't panic and grab the brakes. I saw the rocks and I just immediately kind of tried to bring it back up a little bit to where I wasn't leaned over as much and I wasn't turning quite as sharply. Just stand it up a little bit. Like a bug just hit me. Bugs really hurt at 60 miles per hour, guys. That's something they don't tell you. That's something nobody told me. But man, it, a bug hitting you at 60 miles an hour, it feels like you got shot with a paintball. You can definitely feel it. Beautiful, beautiful countryside out here. We're in Northwest Missouri. So I work, I'm sure if you've watched the Mercedes videos, a lot of times I start off in my workplace. I work in Northeast Kansas. I live in Northwest Missouri. It's about 20 minute drive from home to work. But we're kind of in a rural area here um, where I'm, I'm headed back home here. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I, I love it out here. I love it's quiet. Not a whole lot going on. I'm not real people-y. I'm not a social butterfly, so I kind of like being, being in a kind of a quiet community like this. We're, uh, so we're southwest of, or excuse me, southeast of Savannah, Missouri. And we are northeast of St. Joseph, Missouri. One thing, guys, that I forgot to do, and I was so worried about making sure that the GoPro was working and make sure that the audio was working, one thing that I forgot that I've been doing is wearing earplugs. And I know that I forgot because my ears are kind of starting to ring a little bit, and it's not necessarily the exhaust. The exhaust on this bike is a little loud, but it's it's hard to describe. It's uh, because it's kind of pointed behind you it's really not that loud when you're riding it's the wind so that wind and that's another thing that concerns me about this microphone I got a wind sock on it but this is the first time I've ever recorded a video like this obviously so I just want to make sure that uh, everything comes through clear hopefully it does hopefully this all works fine and uh, I can post it up on YouTube but if you're watching this I guess it came out okay uh, something else we'll talk about, uh, what I'm riding. I'm riding a 2009 Kawasaki ER6N, or er 6 n if you will. Uh, so basically, this is a uh, this is a naked Ninja 650, basically. It has the upright bars, um, upright riding position, very comfortable. Um, you know, some of the Ninjas have those clip-on bars that are about halfway down the tank. And they just, it, it hurts my back just to look at them. And we'll talk a little bit more. I'll do another video if this one comes out okay. I'll do another video that uh, talks about why I chose this bike. Spoiler alert, I'm an opportunist. There were a few bikes that I was looking at. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that in another video again. Um, we're, we're about to wrap this one up. I'm uh, getting really close to being home. Double check here. We got, this one's tough because there's a hill on both sides. 
but we look good we look good we're gonna go move out of the traffic and don't mess around But yeah, we'll do a video. Um, we'll do a video on why I chose this bike, what I like about it, maybe what I don't like about it. Um, I mean, so far it's 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 a great beginner bike, and uh, that's obviously the, one of the top things that was on my list when I was looking for a bike. Is like, is it good for beginners? And there are so many different bikes where people consider this is good for a beginner this one's not good for a beginner and it also depends a lot on your size right I'm 6'1 250 so uh, I, I kind of I thumbed through the the brochure if you will uh, when you're talking about um, you know the 300 cc bikes like the the CB 300 R. <laughs> after talking to people I just decided it wasn't it wasn't gonna be enough if I were 5'9 you know 160 pounds I'd probably be on one, but but it's just not not a good bike. There's a lot of glass up here, guys. Clear, clear, and we are going around this glass. I ain't messing with that. I don't know if there was an accident there or what. about a quarter mile from home now so I'm gonna pull in here I'm gonna wrap this video up hopefully everything comes out okay post it up on YouTube hopefully everybody enjoyed the journey with me my first time in traffic a little nervous about it but hey we made it through we're just fine we had a lot of fun I think I'm really gonna enjoy motorcycling so that's all I got for today, folks. Thank you for coming along again, and thank you for sticking with me until the end. It's been a good time. Take care.